Well, Mrs Quinn is in good form. She's the only one I have in the class today. And uh, she jumped very good here yesterday and I've just been kind of sparing her for this class with mine. So um, hopefully she'll do a good job. This is owned by Caledonia Stables. And they're all over here from Canada today to watch Greg. Already very successful in the horse board classes today. Greg knows this mare inside out, of course, winning premieres in Cork last year and being placed in the final of the Bluegrass League this year. Now we see, can he beat Tallum Keane? Already up in the time. Ops for the four strides. Inside, back to the Irish life. Very tight. Excellent. Back again to now this 145 vertical at a serious angle. Perfect shot in. Great. All the way down, way up. 48.96 to beat and a super double clear round from Greg Brodjick 45.70 excellent round definitely the turn after number 15 was the winning turn of that round well done Greg Greg getting his rosette here for his win today at Barnadown on Mrs Quinn owned by Caledonia Stables Now leading off our lap of honour we have Greg Broderick and Mrs Quinn and the beautiful rug from TRM. What did you think of that class? Oh I think it was fantastic, it was great to see so many, uh, such large numbers out on a, on a very blustery day but um, it was a good result as well and a great jump off at the end. A great jump off and with 13 going to the jump off you must have been happy with the course. Well, I think it's the uh, first time we had Noel Lambert doing the course building here and the feedback is very positive. He's done a good job to get 13 clears out of 50 starters and it led for a very good jump off and I think it it's worked out very, very well. Very happy and with only three double clears, it was very competitive. So how is the sponsorship going for the league for TRM? Well, for us, it's a very important part of um, being involved in, in Irish show jumping. Um, you know, we are, we, this is the second year of a three-year deal, and um, for us, we're delighted to be involved in it. And um, it's great to see such competition here. You know, you've got a lot of young horses and a lot of older horses, but just at the end of the day, like you know, 50 horses out here on a, on on a weekend, it's just fantastic, and it's great to be involved in it. Greg, how did that feel? Uh, great, I'm delighted. Um, the mare jumped very, very well today and felt in great form and uh, turned out to be a competitive enough jump off, but it's nice to come away with a win anyway. With 13 going into the jump off, how many double clears did you think they would be? I didn't really think about that to be honest with you, I just thought about going in and going as fast as I could and hoping nobody could go faster, so. Hopefully. Kept to your own plan? Yeah, yeah, and to be honest, Mrs Quinn is very competitive, like she's, especially in a nice open ring like this where you can let her run and jump a bit, she loves it and she's quite hard to beat when she's clear, so I'm delighted. Very good, and you got a super turn to the number 15, straight across the vertical. Yeah, uh, I thought turning back I might be in a little bit of trouble, I thought. Uh, she had to try quite hard there, but like again, those kind of turnbacks, especially on vertical, she's very, very fast. So Very consistent mare. And what is your plan now for her for the next month or two? Uh, I'll probably give her uh, next, week, uh, next week off and uh, I'll aim for the um, Premier Series in Mullingar, the international show there and uh, basically build up to that. Are we delighted to have your sponsors here all the way over from Canada to see her? Yeah, it's great for them and I mean they're great supporters of the Irish horses and they have some lovely young horses with me as well so I'm just glad. And they, they watch irishsport.tv as well every weekend yeah, they, to see it? They do, they love it and the live stream they always tune into it so I'm delighted for them and uh, their other horse BP Blondie won the seven year old final in the horse board today so it's great for them and like I say when People are such good supporters of the Irish horses, it's nice to see them uh, getting the benefits of it.